We know that travel documentation can be a pain. We've been there and that's why we created this channel. So sit down, have a coffee or your favorite drink and keep watching. I'm Dama, your coolivisa.com travel expert. And in this video, I will talk about the Shenhen visa application in 2022. I promise you that by the end of this video, you'll know everything about it. But before we start, support this channel by liking this video and subscribing if you haven't already done so. Turn on your notifications if you don't want to miss any of our videos. Now, let's get started. Europe is as wild as diverse. Some people may be interested in discovering the romance of Paris, while others may want to know more about the crazy wilderness in Norway. Some people are attracted to the incredible beaches in Spain, while others simply prefer to breathe history in the streets of Berlin. And then most people just mix a few of these options together and plan a trip that will forever be remembered. But before you live this amazing experience, there's some paperwork to do. And since travel documentation was never easy, here's the most important information you must know about traveling to Europe in 2022. The first thing you need to ask yourself is, do I need a visa to travel to Europe? This is an easy one. At the moment, there are 60 nationalities that are exempt from getting a visa to travel to Europe. These countries are listed in this website, and I'll leave the link in the description box below. If your nationality falls under this category, you can now travel to Europe without further ado. However, However, you'll soon need to go through the ETIAS or European Travel Information and Authorization System. Do you want to know more about this ETIAS? Actually, we just uploaded a video explaining everything about it. Go check it out. If your nationality is not listed in the Visa Waiver Program, that means you'll need to apply for a visa. Follow these steps in order to do that. Step number one, find out which Shenhen visa type you need. It depends on the purpose of your visit. Most people will just have to apply for the tourist visa, but there are other visas such as business visas or visas for medical reasons if you're looking for the correct type of visa you can click over here step number two find out where you need to apply first thing you need to know is what your destination country is if you're only visiting one country in Europe then it's pretty easy but if you want to travel around Europe your destination country will be the country where you will spend most of your time if you're spending the same amount of days in each country then your destination country will be the first country you visit now that you know what your destination country is then you will have to file your Shenhen visa application at their embassy one of their consulates or any other center that your destination country has outsourced visa submission to step number three book an appointment most countries give you the chance to book an appointment online in others you'll need to book the appointment in person at the place you found in the previous step due to the time that Shenhen embassies need to process a Shenhen visa application you'll need to do this at the right time Time. The earliest you can file a visa application is six months before your trip and the latest is 15 days before you intend to travel. We recommend that you have your visa appointment at least three weeks before your trip. Step number four, fill out the application form and gather the required documents. Before you go to the embassy, we recommend you to download the application form and fill it correctly and honestly. The application form can be downloaded from this page. Print the form twice and sign both copies at the end. The application form will ask you for your personal information on your background, your purpose of travel, and other details regarding your trip. The required documents are a crucial part of your visa application. Your standard required documents will be the visa application form, a valid passport, two identical photos, travel insurance policy, flight itinerary, proof of accommodation, and proof of financial means. Apart from this, there are other visa-specific requirements depending on the destination country and the visa type. Here's a list of documents required for the Shenhen visa application. You can find the link in the description box below. Step number five, attend the visa interview and pay for the visa fee. This interview may last around 10 to 15 minutes and you will have to talk about your trip and present your documents. You will also need to pay a non-refundable administration fee that the member countries of the Shenhen area have agreed to. This Shenhen visa fee is 80 euros per person. Children and other specific categories 
categories of individuals who may have to pay either reduced fees or even no fees at all. And finally, step number six, wait for your visa application result to arrive. It usually takes no more than 15 days, but sometimes it can take up to 45 days. So prepare accordingly. If you get your visa, make sure to pay attention to the period of validity. That's the time you're permitted to remain in Europe. On the other hand, if your application gets denied, read the reason why they didn't grant you a visa and try to fulfill it next time you apply. You can also appeal the visa rejection if you feel that your application was correct. Don't forget the visas are not the only travel document a government may ask you in order to enter a country. If you need information on some travel documentation or, you know, even help in your application, visit ivisa.com. It's the perfect option to save time with your travel documents. We have processed more than 800,000 documents worldwide in more than eight years. We will get your documents on time and error free. iVisa was created to take the stress and confusion out of entering any country. And I hope I did just that. If you still have some questions about the Shenzhen visa application, you can leave them in the comment section below and I will get back to you ASAP. I'm Dama, your cool travel expert. Make sure you support us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. You can also click on the bell to turn on your notifications. And that was it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Safe travels.